Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another Potato Danger 5 random random run, where we take a random character and random weapon and try to beat Danger 5 with it. Hope you're all doing well. So, I have now done almost every one of the characters in the random random series, and so since we've been re-rolling characters that we've already covered, I'm just going to select the last few so you don't have to sit here and watch me roll hit random over and over till we get one of the, like, three characters I haven't done yet. I've been working my way back up from the, the back, and the last one we did with Jack, and actually the next most, uh, the next one that I have not yet done is the Glutton. So, right, it's the next one on the list, one of the very few remaining. Glutton looks, at first glance, like it's going to be an easy character for random random, but I think that's actually quite misleading, because Glutton has... its uh, main damage source is the passive, done from explosion damage by picking up consumables, but when you aren't using Pruner as your weapon, you just won't have enough consumables on the field, it's especially in the early waves, to use that as your main source of wave clear. So we're going to have to actually build damage on our weapons, since I'm not allowed to use pruners for this one, even if I roll them, um, since I use them for my class guide. Incidentally, if you're looking for a great video to watch, and one of my most fun class guides in my opinion, the glutton one is great, we use pruners, we end up with like 10,000 damage criticals in the end game. It's super fun to watch, definitely recommend that one. We will roll here, though, and see what weapon we get, and we will probably have to build around using that weapon specifically in some way, so it's going to be interesting to see what actually works out in terms of how we're building this character. Uh, I have rolled and gotten Screwdriver. So that will, the mines will benefit from our extra explosion damage when we pick them up, but the actual weapon attacks won't. So we're going to be mostly using landmines, which is generally a very weak strategy. However, and we are also uh, suffering from the economy penalty and the XP penalty, which means that building these just as attack damage weapons is going to be very difficult, given their weak scaling and just the expense of items. Glutton starts kind of on the back foot in that respect when you aren't benefiting a ton from the explosion damage, and it will be not until the fairly late game where we are benefiting a ton from the free explosion damage. On the other hand, 50 luck just gets us like crates, and those crates are free items, so hopefully we can make use of that economy boost to see us through the early game. Got one, got our landmine down there. I can try to pull the enemies over it. That's not really necessary early. Oh, I definitely shouldn't have taken that hit. You really want to stay at full health on this character because um, then you can build explosive damage from your passive. Ended up making only 53 that wave because the, the placement of the landmines ended up kind of awkward, so I wasn't able to pull enemies over them. Here, I'm just going to take engineering. We're going to need to build that pretty early. Definitely lock the broken mouth, because that is just going to be a great and efficient item. Buy a screwdriver. I'm not going to lock the pencil. I think we will just roll for more screwdrivers or better economy items. Although I will take the weird food, and we will lock another screwdriver. Alright, so, have built zero explosive damage so far, and you can see already that's the issue with Glutton without Pruner. Is You, you just don't get to build that much explosive damage early. Trying to pull enemies over the landmines. You can step on your own landmines to detonate them. Which is very important to do to maximize your wave clear. And then here I'm going to re-roll. Looking for luck or harvesting. I'll take some harvesting. We're going to need it, I think. And then I'll buy the screwdriver and re-roll. Roll again for another one. And I'm too short of being able to roll looking for another one. The good news is we have a lot of engineering from the passive and we found from the, the synergy and we found some engineering. And as we build more explosive damage, of which we have zero because we've gotten very unlucky on picking up consumables, um, the landmines will start to do more damage. Just gonna break that, step on that. We need to also build some melee damage so that our explosion damage is, like, our, our passive explosion damage can actually kill stuff, which currently it's going to struggle with. Ideally, I'd find something like a baby gecko or something here that we can use to pull materials in. I think I'm just going to grab the three regen. It's not the, the perfect stat for us at this point, but we do want to stay at full health so we can actually be building explosion damage. So it's very important to have some source of healing on this character.
The tree will help a lot. That can actually start building some for us. We're at 4% now. And then I think I will take the broken mouth and then roll looking for another screwdriver to lock. Screwdrivers, oops. Screwdrivers really want to um, level up. So I'm going to avoid breaking this tree until I have hit, until I've reached full health so that I don't accidentally pick up the consumable and not get the benefit from it. There we go. Now we're at full health. I can do that and take out some of these guys. There is a tree over here we can break, and then can we get this tree before the end of the wave? Didn't quite manage that, but at least we got a crate. A hunting trophy. Um, this will not happen frequently because our landmines can't critically hit, but it's so early and we'd only get 25 materials that I will take the hunting trophy. That's kind of a stroke of luck given our, um, um, just from our 50 luck, we get a, we got a high level item there. I, there's definitely better level three items to find, but screwdrivers do have reasonably high base crit chance. So even without building any crit chance, we can get some money from the hunting trophy. I think I can do better than a level 1 upgrade, because we have 50 luck, so I'm going to reroll here, and yeah, I'll take 8 harvesting. I do want more melee damage, but um, and so now that I have this hunting trophy, maybe I start building some crit chance. Build this claw tree. Our passive can critically hit our passive damage, and I believe that will give us money from the, the hunting trophy. I don't think I've ever had hunting trophy on Glutton before, so I'm not sure. This is a great chop. Obviously, we get the tree, we get to level our screwdrivers, and we get recycling machine. Recycling machine, even better, of course, on characters that have high luck, because you're more likely to get crates, which are therefore likely to have items that you don't actually want. So now I kinda, I'm kind of i kind of incentivized to try to kill things with my actual weapons to trigger the hunting trophy, but it's not something that I can reliably do, since our damage is not that high yet. This build suddenly got weird and interesting. I'm hoping I don't just randomly die because I think this build is, is very weak still, but a really fun version of this character all of a sudden. Um, percent damage would be okay for my weapon attacks, but doesn't matter for anything else that this character is doing. I could just take some dodge. I think I'm going to reroll. We're guaranteed a level 2 or higher upgrade because we're level 6 here. Um... And I'm just going to take this harvesting. This gets us over 20 harvesting, so it can start growing by 2 per round. And then here I'm just going to take the max HP. Combine this and buy this, buy this, buy this, lock this, and then do one reroll to see if there's anything else I can lock. Ugly Tooth is always interesting on, on this kind of character because it can help us survive against elites, so I think I will pick it up. We are very unlikely to be killing elites with a landmines build. I should check how much money I've gotten from the hunting trophy. I'm going to guess, like, three. <laughs> but I think it will pay for itself in a couple waves anyways. Still kind of looking for a lumberjack shirt. The best item we could find at this point would be bag. I'm looking for a lumberjack shirt because then our landmines can kill trees for us easily. Trying to pick these up, trying to break these trees. Didn't quite manage to right at the end. I, I missed those two trees over on the right-hand side, and I should have gone for them earlier. Definitely taking this. This helps our explosion damage from our passive a lot, as well as our attack damage. And then, yeah, I'll just take more max HP. Our max HP is pretty bad, so I, would, I do want to increase that. I can buy both of these. It does cost me crit chance to buy the metal, but it's too many stats that we want to not buy it. And then lure is going to be good. We, we do want HP regen. I could also build this medical turret. We'll be building engineering, so the healing will be good. Um, and it's good to stay at full health on this character so we can build passive damage. I probably should buy this. Hunting trophy has given us 22 out of the 25 that I could have gotten from it, so it's actually worked out pretty well. But as you can see, we only have 16% explosive damage, so... That's the issue with this character when you aren't a pruner build. You just don't have enough consumables to build 
your damage too high. I should probably not let the eggs hatch, mostly. Didn't want to run all the way across the map to get that one, though, but... I keep taking hits right before I pick up a consumable, which is, is how it always goes, because, of course, when you are damaged, the consumables get pulled into your character. So you're, you're very likely to take a hit and then immediately pick up a consumable as a result of taking that hit. But it does mean, of course, when that happens, it feels bad and you don't get any money. <laughs> or explosion damage, rather. That said, I'm more focused on just clearing these waves and making a decent income than I am on building our passive damage. I'll definitely take the insanity here, just boost our crit chance, and then I'm going to take armor, I think. Percent damage I'm not too worried about, and I, I want to get some defensive stats before we have to fight an elite. I'll take this and this and roll. Coffee is still going to be good, um, but do I want any of these other things first? I think I'll take Peaceful Bee and then lock these two items. Coffee is still really good on this character, because we do still do weapon attacks, and attack speed is good, but also if we find improved tools later on, which we're more likely to, because we've got decent luck. Although I will say my luck should be higher at this point, we just haven't been offered the chance to buy it efficiently. Um, but since we have decent luck, we should, we're should we more likely to find improved tools, which makes way more landmines spawn. immediately walked into that attack um, but I can I can now play around my medical turret to try to stay at full health and that will make it a little easier for me to uh, generate explosive damage just picking away at that loot alien take a few hits to let that happen the other one has run across the map and I don't know where it went exactly but hopefully it'll walk into some <laughs> landmines for me I have to play around my medical turret now because I've taken a lot of hits and our damage is just so low. My clear speed is so weak. I don't think we're going to get the second um, loot alien down. May actually have despawned. Yeah, so we're really starting to fall behind, as you might expect. Oh, there it is. Uh, as you might expect from this build. Definitely going to take the additional move speed, because our move speed was pretty weak, and we needed to increase that. And then I think I can start building dodge. I'd like to build some decent defenses before we reach our next, um, reach the first elite. Level 4 screwdriver is a big help. That's a lot of extra landmines. Then we can buy both of these and reroll here. Upgrade a screwdriver. I'll also take a garden for sure. This is very important on this character. And I should definitely take cog. I've probably passed on a bunch of engineering stuff, um... It, without realizing it. Because it's hard to remember that this is a, a, a melee damage, engineering, economy, explosion build all at once. We just need like 20 different stats to make it work. This should be a good wave for us though. Since of course wave 9 is always good for AoE focused characters. And I'd love to build just a little bit of explosion damage in this wave. Well, I'd love to build a lot of explosion damage, but I'll take any we can get. Making sure to break those trees, pick up the explosives. When you have a build like this that's very, what I would call in Baldur's Gate, multi-attribute dependent, um, it is difficult to make sure that you are picking up all of the stats you need all at once, both just because you need to prioritize them all, but also because you need to like remember that you're looking for all of them, which is so atypical that it, it feels weird. Do I want another hunting trophy? We've only gained 63 materials from the one, and I'm genuinely not sure if our passive works with hunting trophy. I think I'll take it. I think we can make our money back from this. Uh, maybe that's a mistake, but it's kind of funny, so I'm, I'm going to pick it up, and then I'll take this campfire. And then here, I'm just going to take luck, I think. We are very low on luck, and I need more. And then, do I want armor or dodge? I, I want to build both, obviously, but I think at this point in the game, I'd rather start building my dodge so I can get that towards cap as, as soon as I possibly can. It's a little less efficient than the armor would be at this stage, but getting higher dodge I think will matter a lot. Upgrade the screwdriver, buy a garden as well, 
And then you usually want to avoid a weird ghost on this character because it costs you a lot of explosion damage. So we're going to roll past it since you will then pick up stuff while not at full health. It's too late for XP gain for most characters, but on this character, which wants the luck or wants the melee damage um, and has an XP gain penalty, we're going to take the black belt here. Offsetting the XP gain penalty will mean a lot of extra levels over the course of the game. Um, and then we'll lock this screwdriver. I think I'll pass on the Wandering Bot. Ooh, instant two materials from my my hunting trophies. Definitely need to make sure I'm picking up, while at full health, picking up the uh, consumables that the, um, the garden puts out. Landmines are just a very difficult weapon to make work as your only strategy, but they are very fun. So I always come back to these landmine builds and go, but what if it was good this time? And it's never good, but what if it was this time? <laughs> Stepping on our landmines to clear enemies. And now we, we actually have um, enough trees and stuff on the field that we're generating enough explosions and there's just enough enemies around that our wave clear is not terrible compared to other characters. So that part's pretty good. I am just going to recycle this campfire again. It's just worth 67, which is too good to pass up on. I could take three engineering. I don't actually think we really need it. Now our, that our explosion damage is starting to get boosted, our landmines are going to be reasonably effective. I'm just going to take more luck. And then here, definitely upgrade the screwdrivers. I don't think I want Little Frog. I don't think I want Cyberball. I think I'm just going to roll past all this stuff. I will take Finn, probably. No, I think I'm going to actually pass on Finn. While I do want the speed, I don't know if I want to lose that much luck. I think I'm going to pass on both of these. Luck is so important for this character right now. So normally I would take those items very highly. But uh, on this version of the character, I think we aren't. And then I will upgrade our screwdrivers and buy more landmines so that that's a lot of extra mines i really wanted to grab defensive stats this shop because we're going into an elite fight but wasn't able to do that however we did get a lot of offensive stats so hopefully uh offense is the best defense given that we only have 40 hp and three armor though only five regen i'm not feeling optimistic about this next wave but i'll just try to avoid the elite and luckily, we did get an elite that doesn't really chase the, the player too aggressively, so we should be able to avoid it most mostly. Um, that said, I should not have let all those guys spawn. Trying to stay on the, on the other side of the map from all the enemies and just sort of play defensively and hoover up materials. We now have enough landmines that we don't have to actively engage in combat most of the time in order to get wave clear, so I'm just trying to stay alive, pick up consumables. Um, I will move in to, to blow up a big chunk of enemies there. These circles are, are pretty dangerous for us, so what I do is I move and then stop and then move and then stop to try to not get hit by them. Took it that hit, though. As long as I can stay ahead of the big bulk of the enemies, we should be fairly safe to just stay alive there. Definitely taking Metal Detector. Engineering's good for us. Luck's good for us. We don't care about losing percentage damage. And, of course, the income is nice. And there we get some max HP, finally. Um, I'm still not certain how the Glutton Crits interact with Tentacle and... Um, and hunting trophy. I think they aren't giving us the money from the hunting trophy, or I think we would have more money at this point, but I'm, I'm not certain of that. So I'm going to buy tentacle just for science. If anyone watching sees me heal off of a glutton crit or get money off of a glutton crit, I'm having to pay too much attention to the enemies to tell if that's happening, but let me know in the comments um, what, you, what you see. I'll definitely take armor, and Pocket Factory is going to be good. We're building a lot of engineering already, and we've got two trees, so we should be able to build a bunch of turrets. And that helps our theme of just going AFK and letting the enemies explode for us. I'd love some explosion size here. 
at some point our our damage will be high enough that we'll be able to kill elites. Right now our explosions are just hitting for 120, so it's not like we're getting a lot of um, just doing a lot of damage. And our landmines are only hitting for what's that? 35. That's honestly pretty sad. Given that the glutton builds a lot of explosive damage, I've almost certainly passed on some engineering that I should have taken. Because um, I kind of forgot that we were supposed to be buying that early. But I think actually the way I've built this character has worked out pretty well. So maybe it wasn't correct to even to build early engineering. Just focusing on economy and, um, and attacks with my actual screwdrivers. This gets me engineering and melee damage, but does cost me dodge. Is this even worth... Uh, so we get 3 engineering, 3 melee damage, 5 crit for minus six dodge, it's probably worth it, but it's very possible we're supposed to just recycle the alloy for uh, 140. Obviously getting anvil wave 12 is incredible. This is a great find that is going to boost my weapons a lot and will also boost my armor later on. I'm gonna reroll this, we can definitely do better. And then here, let's just take six melee damage, try to boost my explosions. Here I'm actually going to pick up regen rather than luck. I really want to start building our defensive stats higher. Pocket factory, cog, metal plate, yes. So I only need four ticks from the anvil um, in order to max out our weapons. That also means that I probably will not buy most screwdrivers that I find because we're just going to get that for free. I might buy whetstone here the lifesteal is not a huge contributor to our healing, but right now my regen is pretty weak. So maybe I should buy just whetstone just because it's an efficient way to heal. I think we can avoid that. I think I'm just going to go to the next wave. So we definitely can't get hunting trophy money from the landmines because they can't crit. Um, the question is, can the glutton explosions give us hunting trophy money? And I'm still not sure whether they can or not. Because they can critically hit. Wow, I walked into every enemy in the entire world there. <laughs> nice play. Um, I have to play fairly conservative here. Go near my turret. Just about to die, I think. This is very dangerous. Because I don't have any way to protect myself with my actual weapons. And our healing is just not good enough to stay alive. Um, so I am definitely on the back foot this this game. I need to buy a lot more regen. I'm, I'm regretting not buying the whetstone also. Alright, well we left a lot of materials on the ground, but we survived. I am going to take the Cyclops Worm just because it's, you know, when it's cheap like this. I'll take the Weird Food for sure. For regen will help a lot to try to survive. Improved Tools is very good. We only have 10% attack speed right now, but that's going to be a lot more landmines. And then maybe I'm supposed to take White Flag. We're so far behind, and I think all I need to do is just not die. <laughs> that feels pretty bad as an option here. Yeah, I don't think that can possibly be worth it. I think I'm going to reroll and just look for other defensive things. I'll definitely still take Bag. Even though we have we don't have one yet, it's going to be a huge boost to us. Take a little muscly dude for sure. Repost I'm going to pass on. We just don't have the dodge to support it yet. This is going to be a difficult wave because the enemies are um, going to die all over the field, and that means that the summons are going to start stacking up because we don't have control over when we're killing the summoners. So there's just going to be a lot of summons on the field. I also need to pick up... I need to go out of my way to pick up a bunch of materials since last wave I had to play so defensively that I left a million on the ground. So I need to pick up all these doubled materials before they start going to waste. Trying to dodge around here. The improved tools is a big pickup and something that we can definitely invest further in if I start surviving these next couple waves. Buying more attack speed will help a lot. Instantly take a hit right as I go to pick up that uh, consumable, of course. But at least we made it through and I picked up all the, um, all the materials. Actually made pretty good money that wave thanks to the doubled materials from the previous wave. And coffee, another great find. Scar, it's too late 
to matter, so we're going to recycle that. But I will take three armor. That's going to help a lot with our survivability. Um, how much has Tentacle healed me? Only 15? So I think the, the fact that Tentacle has only healed 15 means we aren't getting any of the triggers from the, uh, the Glutton Explosions. But I should probably just keep buying more crit chance anyways, just because it's so valuable for the, the Glutton Explosion damage. We'll take Spicy Sauce as well. That just increases the damage of our explosions by 25%. So if I bought this screwdriver, right, I could combine these to level 4 and buy this one. That would mean it would take 3 waves instead of 2 waves to max out my screwdrivers with the anvil. So it's actually worse for me to buy that. I am going to, I think, buy another alloy here. Uh, at this point, I don't think our dodge is ever going to get there, so I'm just going to focus on building damage and armor and regen. Explosion size is one of the things that would help the most as well. <laughs> so we now need... Um, we need engineering, melee damage... Armor, regen, dodge, explosion size, move speed, uh, attack speed. Percent damage is the, basically the only stat we don't need. So that, that's the struggle with this build right now, is that every single stat in the game is not only good for us, but like basically required by what we're trying to do. On the other hand, my actual glutton explosions hitting for, for 380 is starting to stack up. We're reaching the point where we might be able to even consider killing elites later on. And since I have so much luck, the this horde wave has been really good for building damage because I've, I've dropped a million consumables as a result. Ended up with 830 income, which is awesome. Definitely taking this, definitely taking this. This I'm recycling. 20% attack speed means fa uh, significantly faster spawns because it is 50% of my attack speed so all of our we are getting um, a landmine every two seconds the obvious from each of these that's a lot of landmines so that part is working very well again we don't want to upgrade this because it will cost us it'll make it the anvil take longer to max out all our weapons still going to take the metal even though I've been building crit chance I think that's still good we'll take mastery as well crown it's too late for that to be good i have not found like any regen which is really interesting in any of these shops i'll still take the leather vest um because now we've got 69 hp which obviously is exactly the number we wanted so but mostly we need to increase our armor nine percent dodge is very low of course but it's an amount that we can hopefully increase to a reasonable value still We'll see. The more expensive items are definitely holding us back, but we're now making enough money per wave thanks to having found improved tools and just the fact that our landmines, because of the glutton damage, are keeping up in terms of damage dealt. Normally at this point in the game, the struggle is that landmines have stopped killing anything um, because it's very hard for their damage to keep up with the, the health of the waves. But on Glutton, which builds so much free percentage damage for the landmines, you actually do get them to keep up. And because we have improved tools, we're getting a lot more landmines than a typical build would have at this point. I will say finding improved tools has moved this build from being like kind of stressful and and <laughs> difficult to play and like I was sort of feeling like oh man this build sucks to wow this build is awesome so much fun to play um yeah I'll take the baby elephant our percent damage is bad but our luck is good so this can help us wave clear and the turret you know it scales off engineering which we're we've got a lot of I do want a little more move speed our move speed is pretty weak right now so I'll pick that up um, and we no longer want to buy screwdrivers or anything like that. Just looking for defensive stats. How's our hunting trophy material gain? Oh, okay. So 467. I think it actually, uh, I've changed my mind. I think it actually is giving us the money. I'm still not sure if it's giving us the healing. Maybe it gives the one, but not the other. But I don't think we'd have gotten 467 materials off of just our weapon attacks. You can see how little damage these weapons are actually doing. But... If it works that way, then I'll just take the hunting trophy. 
I don't want to cap my max HP at this point, even for 8 melee damage. Um, <laughs> we could have bought this last wave, but not this wave anymore. I will take the Poisonous Tonic. And drink some water there. And then... Let's see. I don't think it's worth two engineering just to pick up the metal detector. Worth it to pick up the metal detector, basically just for two engineering. So let's just go to the next wave. Alright, so my weapon attacks are actually, um, thanks to our high critical hit, and I've been building a lot of melee damage and stuff, my... Suddenly my screwdriver attacks are doing decent damage. So we're, we might actually kill this, this elite if I can drag it over consumables enough. So let's see if we can hit it with that explosion. We did, it didn't crit, so I think maybe we, do, we aren't getting this guy. Although there's a lot of landmines over here I can kite it over, maybe. If it charges over all the landmines at once. Do bosses get iframes? They, they don't, but... <laughs> I bet it's wishing it, it does, it would, because... It's getting pulled over a hundred landmines all at once. Alright, so maybe by the time we hit the, the last wave we'll have the damage on our weapons, on our explosions, to kill the bosses. This elite we had to let, let live for now. Um, definitely recycling ritual. We don't want to decrease our engineering. And I'm going to take the dodge. I think we can still build dodge at this point. Because um, we've got a couple waves to try to get to like 40%. Which would still be really good. I'm not going to build big arms. I just don't care that much about 12 melee damage right now. I will take the leather vest. Oh, I should buy the book as well. For engineering. Uh, we'll buy this. Now we're rolling all these screwdrivers, now that our anvil has capped out. And Baby Elephant has done 900 damage. Probably wasn't worth buying, actually. I think I'm going to re-roll this, and we'll save 127, go to the next wave. This has really ended up as a build where we build every single stat in the game and just sort of hope for the best, which is not usually a strategy I would advise, but has worked out pretty well this time. Uh, I, I Like I said, I wouldn't recommend this version of the build, or I wouldn't recommend this build, but if you are going to play this build... Let me rephrase that. I wouldn't recommend this build if your goal is just to get a win on Glutton. I would recommend this build if your goal is to have something nonsensical and funny happen. And if you are going to play this build, I highly recommend rolling improved tools because this has made this build so much more fun. Um, yeah, when it's offered for free like this, I'll take the snail. 12% dodge, great find. That's going to get us to an amount of dodge that will actually help pretty quickly. I'm going to reroll here. I think basically the only things we need right now are max HP and dodge. Um, of course we get offered one that decreases the other. I'll roll past that. Bag for wave 19, probably not exactly where we want to be. Incendiary turret could help with wave clear if we'd gotten it earlier, but again, I think the only stats that matter to us right now are max HP and dodge. I will also take regen. Actually, do I want torture? That's a lot of healing. We currently have a lot of consumables on the ground, though, and we have um, five consumable heal. If I didn't have five consumable heal, I probably would take the torture. But as is, I think it will still be less healing than our current amount of healing. Um, I will take the spicy sauce just because I need the max HP. One more reroll. I'll take the peaceful bee as well. Just a little bit of dodge, and then we'll go to the next wave. Armor we're getting for free from the anvil, so I don't really need to focus on that. Basically... Um, and our, our wave clear is fine. I don't think we're going to kill the bosses, just because our weapon attacks are pretty weak still. But we should be able to clear the wave, so I'm pretty much interested just in maximum HP, dodge, and healing at this point. This just goes to show that even if you maybe buy not the most optimal items in the shop and... Uh, 
get hit a little too often on Glutton. Like, you don't have to have perfect dodging on Glutton to build a decent amount of explosion damage and have a decent build. Um, that's something that I think people often sort of get tripped up on, is feeling like if you miss even a single per point of explosion damage in the early waves, then your run is dead in the water, but that's just not true. Take that, I'll take that, and then here... Yeah, more enemies on the field is actually going to be good for us, uh, even this late. So we're not benefiting from the money, but we are benefiting from the chance to drop consumables, which is our main source of healing. As well, I'm also benefiting from the max HP. And I'll take the medical turret, just a good way to heal still. Do I want the poisonous tonic? It just means more landmines, um, but less regen. I think I'd better reroll. I'm still just looking for things that will help keep me alive. And, yeah, I'm just going to take the fin. Bonus move speed will help me stay alive. The lifesteal isn't zero, but uh, I think that's just going to be the best thing we could get here. Immediately, of course, I roll into Broken Mouth, the actual best thing we could get, but I think the fin was the right pick. Just having a little bit more move speed will help a lot dodging these elites. All right, let's test our damage and just kind of see where we're at in terms of killing, killing them. Oh, I managed to step on that explosive. Wow. Uh, neither of the elites were in range of it, which is actually, so, or neither of the bosses were in range of it. Actually somewhat difficult to do. Looks like there's just no chance that we are going to kill these guys, I just don't have the damage for it, so unless, yeah, even with those, like, consumable explosions, our damage is just not high enough. Um, so I'm just gonna keep focusing on dodging. does feel a little sad because the the like payoff for glutton is usually you get these 9 million damage critical hits and you just one shot everything in the end game after having kind of struggled in the early game but this character does not get to do that on the other hand we do get to have them kite over 500 landmines like that let me i need to go play near my medical turret because i'm taking a couple hits where where did those guys spawn down here okay there's another one over here. Can go grab some consumables. Pick up a bunch of consumables. Because I have so much consumable healing, I'm able to survive. Even with relatively low regen and everything. And as long as I play around the medical turrets, we should be okay. And there we go. That is the glutton with the screwdriver. Which is... Um, it, like I said... If you're looking for a hilarious run, highly recommended. If you are looking for a good run, definitely not recommended. This is not what I would call a guide to the glutton or anything, but was a really fun challenge mode. Um, and I do think we got a little bit fortunate just getting the economy from the early hunting trophies. That helped a little bit. Um, but actually, I would say we mostly got pretty unlucky this run. It took us a long time to get all of our screwdrivers online and upgraded. We didn't find any early economy items, really. Um, no early bag or anything like that. So we actually ended up, I think this ended up a little below par, other than finding improved tools, which obviously was huge. But I think if you were to run this build 10 times, like seven of them would be stronger than this build, probably. All right, my friends, I hope that you've enjoyed this video. And of course, as always, if you have, do feel free to leave a comment, uh, like the video, and you can subscribe to my channel for more Brotato and other strategy game content. Just have a few characters remaining for the random weapon challenges, and I will catch you next time. Cheers, folks. GG.